Hey you too, this is Twinker. Oh, sorry I'm looking down, I'm just trying to check and make sure everything's okay. But I just wanted to come with you all and share this message with you all. Um, I've been supposed to speak about this several days ago, but I really haven't put aside the right time for it. So now that I have a little block of time before I go to class and whatnot, just thought I would share with you all and I pray to God that it comes out correctly and that I say the right words and that I express everything that I'm supposed to express. But um, firstly, I just wanted to just share my testimony of what's going on with me right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm a college student working on my bachelor's degree and I am at the University of Michigan and um, I'm a senior now and so I graduate in April um, majoring in sociology and so for right now it's just just major crunch time and time is just flying so quickly it's like oh my gosh I graduated in like six months which is bananas but um yeah so knowing that time is like flowing so quickly it's just like it's time to really make some plans and get the ball rolling and um for quite a while I didn't know what the heck I was about to do for school and I'm just up here worried and concerned and like, Lord, okay, what am I about to do after graduation? You see the news and you see all type of stuff of people graduating, not doing anything. Um, I don't know, you just understand like the concern and the worry, concerned about the worry associated with graduating. So I just been praying like, okay, Lord, uh, what's going on? What am I supposed to do between now and wherever it is that you want me to be? You know, because I don't know what to do while I'm in the middle or you know while I'm just in between this little weird stage I'm at I don't know what's going on so um I mean I felt like I didn't have an answer you know right away and now it's like October and I'm just like okay Lord, what's really going on and <clears throat> so I went to church one day with my mother on Sunday and um a prophetess, she was up there, you know, praying for people and stuff like that. And so uh, she called up people who were in need of healing or people who had a broken heart or something to that effect. So all those people already went up. And, you know, I was in the back row and I was just, you know, staying to myself. And, you know, I just prayed for other people while they were up there, you know, just thanking God for it. whatever answer it is that he would have for them. And, you know, if there's anything, <laughs> I don't know, just trying to make sure I stay myself keep myself in the spirit and with the moment that we were in at church and stuff like that I was just doing that and so um while I was back there praying and stuff she called me up and um she was just you know speaking over me and just was like oh well aren't you in school and this that, and the other and you know God knows your heart and he knows that you've been worried and he knows about all the stuff that you haven't even told other people which is so true because it's like it's a bunch of stuff that goes through my mind and <clears throat> so she just prayed over me and she was just saying you know God said don't worry you know he already has it worked out and she said that amongst other things and you know saying that God has already provided a way for you to go to school and he's already provided for your finances and you know just continue on doing what's right and continue doing what's good you know God will make you successful and I don't know just the whole thing just uh, I wasn't expecting it, but I thank God. I mean, I was expecting it because I was expecting to hear from God, but for it to happen that moment, you know, and I wasn't expecting it to, you know, come at that moment. You know, I just didn't know how he was going to tell me or, you know, what he was going to say to me. But I thank God that he, you know, spoke to me in that moment, and I felt really encouraged. And even later on, I that week or whatever you know even now like the enemy always tries to come against me and say <clears throat> that you know well because you're this late in the game it's october you don't have any plans you know you might as well wait and kick it for a year and do nothing or you know kick it and do whatever you want to do or whatever but i have to just keep encouraging myself like god already has a plan and i don't have to delay his plan because I think that things should go a certain way and so it's always with anything that you feel like you have to do or anything that you feel like you have to accomplish or anything that you plans just with plans it's always going to be some type of distraction 
whether it's from the enemy, whether it's from people, whether it's from the way circumstances look. You know, the word says that we walk by faith and not by sight. And I don't know about you all, but for me, it it seems like a lot of times with the Bible and some of the scripture, it seems like that word is nice and that word is sweet, but I don't necessarily apply it to myself. And not I don't know how to apply it to myself, firstly. And secondly, it's just like, okay, is it even applicable to me because this is my situation? I have X, Y, and Z going on right now. And why is it or how is it that this word, you know, means something to me? I know everybody else say it. I know everybody else say, you know, God is this, that, and the other. But, you know, what is it for me? And I don't know. It it just takes some soul searching and stuff like that and getting in God's word and even praying with him. Just talk to him flat out, you know. <laughs> like, God, I thank you so much for your word. I thank you for the blood of Jesus. But, Lord, this is what's going on. And these are the things that affect me and just keep you know, pressing against me, Lord, and, you know, what is it that you want me to do? And, you know, to walk by faith and not by sight, I don't know, like, I'm still in the process of, I'm still in the process of understanding what that means for me and what it is that I have to do to get to a place where I'm not walking by sight. But one of the things that, um, even, like, a uh, apostle this week, because I went to, um, a church called Burning Bush Ministry, and I started going there with one of my, uh, with my roommate, one of my friends. And so I started going there um, this summer, or whatever. And I really, really love the church. And so we, um, the message that the apostle gave out um, at the end of service was, you know, he prompted us just to look up scriptures based on like trust, confidence, and faith, and. Even before, like, one of his other messages that stick out to me was just, you know, growing in faith because what it is that God wants us to do requires us to have a higher level of faith in him. And, you know, I may have had faith in the past, but, you know, that may not carry me over into the things that God would want me to do in the future. So, <clears throat> he was just saying, you know, to just really focus on those three areas. And I know that would it was nobody but God who told him to speak that and for me to just sit down and be patient while he was still doing what he was doing and you know wait till the end of the service because I just really need to assess what it is that's going on with me as far as those three areas faith trust and um confidence and patience well kind of overlap but you know faith patience and trust <clears throat> and so within those three areas um i feel like as a body of christ and even as you all may you know face those are areas that we could stand to grow in <laughs> so we can be better off in christ and that way we can have a clear understanding of how faith works you know faith requires us to trust in god even when we don't know what's going on even with my circumstances with the schooling and stuff like that, like, God knows I have no idea what's going on. I don't know where I'm going for school, you know, after I graduate. I don't know what's going on as far as, you know, rent. I don't know what's going on as far as transportation. I don't know what's going on as far as, uh, you know, just, just the steps to take to prepare for that next step with whatever it may be in God or whatever it is that he wants me to be, you know, at the next page of, you know, my chapter or whatever. So <clears throat> I just feel like with us and with me uh, specifically, well, not specifically, but, you know, I'm making this video for myself firstly, and then I'm making it for everybody else. So I just need to, yeah, just need to vent my thoughts and then make sure, you know, I get everything out but for me you know I feel like God is calling me to just learn how to trust them more and trust them in a different way than just you know getting up and reciting a prayer or getting up and you know thanking God for make sure I got home safe or stuff like that you know even though those are things that are already written in that God will provide for 
there's so much more that God wants to do for me and my expectations in him and my trust in him I have to develop to a point where I will expect different from him and that um, those things will come to pass in my life so yeah that's what I wanted to say and hopefully everything that I said made some sense and this is going in a, di a different direction than what I initially thought so I will post this video and um, I will post a, probably a part two or something like immediately thereafter. So um, thanks for watching and um, yeah, add me as a friend and subscribe and whatever. And I will come back to you all in a brief moment. All right. <laughs>